Hi, I'm Hugh McFarlane. I'm the founder of Math Marketing and the author of The Leaky Funnel and hundreds of white papers and ebooks on the subject of funnel management. I've personally participated in over 300 growth projects around the world and trained thousands of marketers in B2B marketing from 20 countries. I'm excited today to share a little of what we've learned. I'm more excited though to hear from you. I'd like to hear your experiences, your views, your concerns. At the end of this video, I'm going to invite you to post your questions and comments in the forum and to discuss those thoughts with your colleagues from around the world. The buyer's journey describes the process undertaken by the buyer as they move from untroubled and unaware through to ultimately engaging and buying your product. It's not an administrative process, but a cognitive one. How do we understand buyers and help marketing avoid a salesperson's rookie trap? Let me explain. There's nothing more frustrating for a salesperson than a buyer who expresses a need, takes up time and then doesn't buy. Not from him or her, not from anybody. And there's a reason buyers do that. We teach salespeople to focus on benefits for a good reason. There's a mnemonic that you may well know, Feature Advantage Benefit, FAB. And the Features Advantage Benefits uh, spiel, if you like, that we teach our salespeople helps a salesperson not talk about the product, but about the advantages and ultimately the benefits that that product will deliver. I'm not arguing there's anything wrong with that, it's a good thing. Think about though when a buyer enjoys a benefit. It's after they've purchased. So a benefit actually comes after the purchase. Before they enjoy that benefit, they must purchase. Before they purchase, they must make a decision. Before they make a decision, they must understand what their options are. Before they understand what their options are, they must understand what it is that they need. Before that, they must be troubled about something in their business. And before that, they have no problems, no concept that you want to solve that problem, and they don't care. There's something of a journey here that describes how buyers move through these cognitive phases, and we call it the buyer's journey. Back to the little knot hole that I alluded to earlier. Benefits come at the end of the journey. We teach salespeople to talk about benefits. We also teach people who are in sales to ask troubling questions. And that works really well. A great salesperson will ask why a lot. Why is that a problem? What impact will that have on your business? And these are great questions. Marketers love to run events talking about the benefits of their products. They like to talk about case studies where customers have enjoyed benefits. Aren't we actually turning this upside down? We've got marketing wanting to talk about benefits which come very late in the journey. We've got salespeople who have learned how to ask penetrating questions about problems that are very early in the journey. Shouldn't marketing be playing much of that early role? Isn't marketing actually communicating too late into the buyer's journey? I believe that we are. Is it odd then to suggest that marketing should remedy that by running seminars to talk about problems? I hope not because that's exactly what I'm going to recommend to you. Marketing should run events where the buyers or the prospective buyers who attend that event leave with some insight into a problem that they were previously untroubled about. Now they can meet with the salesperson to understand how that problem is going to play out in their business. Marketing absolutely should be running troubling events, not events that talk about benefits or great customer outcomes. Marketing needs to focus on troubling the market so that salespeople can find out how those problems affect the business and translate that into a solution. Here's a question for you though. Which of your current tactics, the tactics that you already have expertise in executing, which of those tactics are aimed at the wrong stage in the buyer's journey?